The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special on the pitch. Stay with us for all the action coming up next on EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Milton Keynes Dons, and they face Wickham Wanderers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the starting 11 for MK Dons. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And this confrontation is underway. David Wheeler. This looks more than decent. Still looking for space. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Lecco. Tremendous header that time, but the goalkeeper was there. It'll be a corner. Played over. And the header just wide of the mark. <laughs> Applying vigorous pressure. Difficult to stop him. Counter-attacking very much an option. Well read to ease the pressure. Brandon Hanlon. Moving it forward. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Watson. And on the ball, Watson. And he read it superbly. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. 
Josh McEachran. Lewington. Jules. And it's with Holland. And they know they need to stop him. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. An alert piece of defending. And well, he's got past his man. Is it going to be a goal? The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Lewis Wing. Hanlon. Sam Vox. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Josh McEachran. Well, nicely cut out. Brandon Hanlon. And on the ball, Watson. And the emphasis is on creativity. And he read it well defensively. McEachran. Mohamed Asa. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Lecco. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. McEachran. And Isa on the ball. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Really vital interception. Wheeler. Nathan Holland. And a very good challenge. Josh Schoen. Vokes with it. Moving into the advanced position. Can he make it count? And the post getting in the way. And simple for the keeper to just come and collect. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. 
but they do need to finish off one of these chances. Yeah, so really up and flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. David Wheeler. And a timely intervention. Zach Jules. Nathan Holland. Oh, big opportunity. And able to get a body in the way. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, they're going for the short one. Well, great read there to intercept. Brandon Hanlon. Josh Schoen. Sam Vokes. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And on the ball, Watson. Watson. And the ball with Lecco. And looking towards the back post. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Giving the ball away. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Good pressure, can they make something of this? Nick Freeman. They've got it now, what can they do? Oh, the threat is there. This is looking threatening. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.